mtaa wa Badogo katika kaunti ya Nairobi. Shughuli hapa si haba. Japo chumba hiki ni kidogo mno. Felista Shiro ambaye ni mkulima wa uyoga pamoja na kikosi chake wanajizatiti kuitoa mbegu ya uyoga kutoka kwa chupa hizi kabla ya kuzipanda katika mifuko hii iliyojazwa nyasi zilizo karibu kuoza huku ikizingatiwa kuwa uyoga utegemea mimea au miti inayooza baada ya mifuko hiyo kuwekwa mbegu huwa inapangwa kwenye chumba hiki kwa ajili ya uotaji maji hunyunyizwa kidogo ili ikuwe vyema wiki nne baadaye tunarejea hapa sura ya chumba hiki imebadilika uyoga unanawiri vilivyo oh. this should be three, days ndio wali alianza kilimo hiki baada ya kupoteza biashara kufuatia janga la corona lilogubika ulimwengu this is oyster mushrooms i've been farming for the past three years uh, and i never woke up one day i just started farming it was after character development ya maisha after corona that is when i started uh, farming so one day as i was just a, a boring morning actually i went to my mother and i found her listening to somebody doing mushrooms then i got interested kwa kuwa uyoga hauhitaji nafasi kubwa kilimo chake ni rahisi although i didn't have much money i decided to go for the training and uh, that is how i started i actually started very small with uh, like 100 bags uh, and after the first yield it was encouraging so i decided to do it uh, right now i'm not doing 100 bags i'm doing uh, over 1000 bags like uh, the room that we are here it is it is a capacity of 1500 to 2000 bags yeah and uh, a bag like this one it's supposed to give you like six panets that is 1.5 kgs per bag yeah so 1.5 kg times 2000 maybe this is how we pack it as beautiful as it is this is what we call a panet quarter kg miaka ya nyuma uyoga ulimea kwa wingi katika mapori ya asili hata hivyo kuharibiwa kwa misitu mabadiliko ya tabia nchi na changamoto zingine kumesababisha fangasi hiyo kupungua ni kufuatia hilo ambapo makavazi ya kitaifa yalianzisha utafiti wa uyoga ili kubaini Kenya iko na ina ngapi za uyoga na jinsi ya kuhifadhi Uh, because uh, uh, mushroom uh, grow in nature and uh, one thing uh, about mushroom is that uh, their, their work is to degrade okay as we said it is to, to decay the organic matter but what happens is that uh, when we clear the forests and yet we say that uh, they are specialized there are those that, that break down leaves that is their work there are those ones that break down twigs There those ones who will come now and break down the, the logs and the stumps you know the hard stuff there those ones who after every other every other organism has uh, done its work it just comes and just grows in the humus and just enjoys the nutrients that have been you know have been deposited through the work of other fungi kuna ina za uyoga ambazo ni chakula kwa binadamu coming to identification of mushroom it's it's very technical and that is where you see uh, we have equipment such as the microscope to get into the microscope so that you can know if an edible species uh, is uh, cultivatable or not because a lot of people ask you how one of the most common questions is how do we know a mushroom is edible is it's, it's not an overview answer if you've not if you don't have indigenous knowledge about that mushroom being edible do not try to eat it this is the ganodama lucida I mentioned before that it is actually used as a coffee. There's a coffee called uh, Ganodama coffee. It is prepared as Ganodama coffee because of its potency and its uses 
as cancer. It has cancer killing properties. Chiro alitonyesha jinsi ya kupika uyoga. Ladha yake ni tamu sana mbali na manufaa yake kwa afya ya binadamu. I mentioned the, the tamitomyces uh, species the one that is uh, highly edible. It is found everywhere. Even right now I'm sure if we do a nature walk you may be even be able to be able to collect it uh, just beside the river. This apart from just uh, eating it as part of your nutritional addition to your body it also helps with a lot of stomach issues and we know in health everything in human nature starts from the gut. Maeneo ya Maharibi mwa Kenya na Pwani yanatambulika kuwa na uyoga mwingi ambao hutegemea pakubwa misitu ya kiasili. So far we have collections ranging from as far as Arabuko Sokoke. We've covered uh, the whole of the north coast and the south coast areas. We have ventured into Mount Kenya region. We have ventured into Laikipia that is the latest uh, project that we are pursuing as we speak right now. Pamoja na uhifadhi wa misitu ili uyoga na fangasi zingine zinawiri. Uyoga unaweza kutoa nafasi kubwa kwa ajira huku ikizingatiwa kuwa kilimo chake kina manufaa makubwa kwa binadamu. It has been a sweet journey for three years now. Uh, I can say, yeah, the reason why I'm saying it's sweet is because I've also created job opportunities. I can say that I'm a proud businesswoman, a, a farmer, an urban farmer. You know, most of people don't like farming. It's involving, tiring, but I enjoy every bit what I do. I, I've employed like six people. Utafiti zaidi wa uyoga unaendelea. Iwapo tutatunza mazingira. Bila shaka, mazingira yatatutunza. Dan Kaburu K24 kutoka Babadogo katika kaunti ya Nairobi.